All right, I should hold it. I should probably put something stronger between there. But it wasn't that strong to begin with. Just needs to hold those front wheels. Test run. We beat the hell out of this little uh, thing. We nice to have a little dump cart, but this works pretty good. It was cheap, and it's here. Pretty whack. Pretty hard to do it like that. I'm gonna have to rejig. Rejig. Should have brought something to prop it up. Probably this and this. measurement on these now. And if they don't fit, I guess I'll just grind that one down. I guess we'll just have to give them a grind up.
let's go grind this one and bring the wrench up the other one. Ladies, ladies, oh hi ladies, hi ladies, how's everyone today? I got some treats for you, look at, look at all the tweets I got, what are you getting ready to fly? Very windy out here today, 
get in there, check them out. Check out my ladies. Check out Annika knows she has to stay out and wait. Oh, you got an egg. No. Okay. Okay. Here's what I got. Treats, treats, and pizza. Treats and pizza. Three eggs every day. I'll leave them for mommy to come get. There's always one small one. And the small one generally has, no, not this time. Kind of has a hole in the end, but not this time. I thought they must be pecking a hole in the end when they first lay them, lay their first egg. So yeah, there you go. There's three little eggies. Yeah, hi ladies. How are you? Feeling good? A little something in there? All right. I gotta go do something in the garage now. It's very windy out here. I love this door I made. It's just a round, a piece of uh, you know wire fencing in a loop. I just threw it there in front of this little opening, and it uh, works perfectly. Nothing can get in or out, and uh, doesn't fall down, and opens up easily. Quite a day out today. It's uh, yesterday was like 30 and uh, hot, 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 hot. Today it cooled right down, so 22 it says on the thermometer on the deck. And uh, yeah, there's all the uh, all the ladies. Other ladies are over there. Oh, you can't uh, zoom on this mode. Anyways, the uh, horses are there. Chickens are back there beside the hay shed. And in front of me are the toy. Toys there. I was working on the uh, tractor yesterday. I left some tools out. Grab those. Uh, today I am going to put this together. We're going to actually uh, got the wife's request to use this for uh, a raffle. So let's get that apart. The ergo chair from Ben Pack. My partners at Ben Pack. My friends. And we'll see how that goes. Get this stuff inside. Oh, I'll actually be able to use that today to move that over here now that I fixed it. chair uh, transport device Let's see if we can get it into the... oh my god Come on. it's heavy it's awkward though That nice. That is a beautiful item. How are we gonna do this? It's always, it's always a struggle. How smart, put these. 
cups on top. Check the wheels. Come on, Dad, work. That's how good it is. So check out the Ergo chair. This thing is gorgeous. Thanks to Jeff Kritzer, Ben Pack. 50 years of Ben Pack, American owned company. All the time goes on that side, obviously. This one has some dark rooms on it. And there's this one here. It's for your cup. Your coffee. Beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice. Uh, the Ergo chair. Oh, the automatic goes up and down. I think it's a manual up and downer. Even has a magnet. Oh, it slides right in there. Is that ever cool? It slides in. Put that down, whatever. Oh yeah, it has a little lever in the front here. There you go. Put it right down into a, creep, into a creeper. Creeper, creeper. Let's check it out for a fully reclined action. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's got a nice little headrest. Creeper. Creep around under your car. Creep, creep, creep. Creeper, it's a creeper. Exercises too. Okay. Just lift the chip, lift the seat up. Take the seat lift it and put it down. Push the next level. So I guess you could do that while you're sitting on it. Not that I don't want to jar my back any more than it already is. That is a beauty. Thank you again, Ben Pack. Little dog food in there. Jump, 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 jump. Throw for that anywhere. Maybe it could go in here. Actually, that's what it's for. Aha! That up. You can uh, pee in that while you're if you're working it. You don't have time to go to the bathroom. But... Pee cup. Yeah, I love it. So you got your uh, coffee cup and your uh, tall tools. Got to leave in a slot for your handle. Uh, you got uh, this here if, in case you need to go to the bathroom while you're working. You can't get, get anywhere. You're on a flat rate. Uh, or for small tools and nuts and bolts. And then you got a larger tool caddy here on this side. And it's a little bendy, but it'd be nice if it kind of stayed a little more upright. Looks very well made. I love these that are covered. All the t wheels are covered. The dust and stuff and tools and whatnot not going to get fallen in there. So all right, that's the ergo chair. Thanks guys, love it. And they work. Going to come in handy on the '64 Comet Caliente. I keep meaning to fix that light.
got to absolutely have it there on time. You got a one man. One time I had two tractors on a hill on a house I was building uh, in Porcupine Plains, Saskatchewan, and uh, one tractor got stuck in the mud. It was spinning its tires and heading towards the water. So I went around and got the other tractor, hooked it up, started pulling it while both tractors were spinning their wheels. Both tractors spinning their wheels up the hill and uh, ended up getting it up there. Of course, I probably had a few drinks by then. And uh, just uh, made it happen, I guess. Getting a little too old to start, you know, to be tipping things over and pulling them up and down hills. And one man and one man and everything. This one out of the way. Let's see if I let's see if I can find a ball for this one and get that tiny little job out of the way. Maybe it's an eleven fifty seven. Eleven fifty six single filament old school bulb. Look how blue it is, blue and burnt up. Kind of funny because you know things like this totally unnecessary. Not cutting the grass in the dark and doesn't throw much light anyways. But might as well keep it up. Alcoholic, but. Quick gas inspection on this one. Okay, why is the gas not coming out of here? I have a little cup, a little cup that we use to put animal food in. I don't know if that's going to be. I'll try that. Look at that, gas coming out of there. No problem there. Okay, got fuel to the carb. Not sure why it's not going in there. Half, one, half, two. Throw the battery charger on there and do something else for a while.
smaller measuring cup. So it starts without the gas thing on it. Gas is spewing everywhere. I wasn't even going in the car to get it started. That's Put that fuel hose on from this end so I can blow some air into the float. Box across the yard, horses are laughing. Yes, very funny. Very funny horses. Alright. I'm sure it will work if I wanted to fill the back of the tractor up. Alright, now it's running. I don't know why it's running now. I took the cap off the gas. That's what it is, look. Cause the vacuum, tighten that up. Starting for fuel. charger on there and I think she's good to go. Alright crack jacks. I just pulled this out of the uh, shed. I got this from a farm that was being sold up in Porcupine Plain area last summer. And I thought, well, this is kind of cool. It's an old school uh, John Deere yard sprayer. It's mostly complete. Uh, this here is all cracked and broken from age and the pump inside is sideways. So I'm gonna clean it up and uh, we'll give it a pressure wash. Kind of looks like a pressure washer, doesn't it? It's got the same kind of pump probably in it. Clean her up and uh, do a little fiddling with it. See if we can't bring it back to life. You may recall in one of my last videos, pretty lately, I uh, prepared this item here. Be a very short pressure washing job. <laughs> well, I was using it last time testing it with the uh, straight ahead sprayer, so I don't think I want that in there. I'll tear the plastic right off that machine. Give it, uh, not sure which what these do. Which one is which yet? Good 
different nozzles make the motor work harder or not harder. Danica doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> Pressure washer. Pressure wash the Simon I sign right off it. Oh, they all go. No longer Simon I's brand. Now it's a gonna be an E-Tech brand. E-Tech restorations, that's my business. Our old restoration business. Alright. Pretty happy. Pretty happy that's working. Pretty good pressure like that. Oh, Total cost me, I think, twenty dollars for a new handle. Well, maybe it was like forty bucks at the most for the new handle. And uh, I just cleaned out the uh, actuator and came back to life. Next up in retirement life, John Deere garden sprayer. So uh, if you can get this cup of in there just like that, and then uh, basically you just drop this in here, suck it up, it sucks into the, uh, into the pump. So actually that would work perfectly just like that. I can put a little hole right here and put it in there nicely. The Tupperware. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to look like that at all. Holy mackerel. Soaked this way. I think it's completely missing something. Yeah. Missing a motor, I think. The motor part is missing. That's what's happening. So, that's the pressure washer. Rinse and close. Water in. I think this is a John Deere pressure washer. Old school pressure washer. Not a sprayer at all. Huh. Look at that. It's got a very weird heavy duty motor. That would run off something sitting here. Dog just took off to chase a uh, farm implement going down the road. Crazy dog. So yes, this is not going to be serviceable without a motor. This is maybe like a heat shield. Huh. Very weird. Okay. Not sure what kind of motor you'd put in there. Electric motor driven. Goes around the shaft there for the pump. Guess I'll have to look it up. See what we got. At this point, it's kind of a keepsake. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna put it back together and we'll go look it up, see what kind of motor it might need.
time to go watch a surfing uh, movie. And here's the uh, other half of Danneberg Acres doing her side hustle, actually making money off the side hustle, selling things on Poshmark. This is most of it, what it is, a couple of uh, knickknacks. And eBay. But These and are eBay. not knickknacks. eBay, but mostly uh, clothing. Clothing, used clothing. Quality vintage. Is quality vintage, and uh, yeah, stuff sells, very successful. She's done a great job at it. Unfortunately, YouTube channel, not quite as successful. But keep plugging along. So we have this Arcteryx jacket that has a tiny couple of little spots on the front of it, and uh, the missus looked it up, and what do you think works? Apparently, WD-40 might work, and baking soda. So here we are. Another fantastic potential use for WD-40. And if it works, we'll put this online. <laughs> Thanks, WD-40. Apparently good for arthritis, stains, and removing glue and rusted bolts.